In this session, we're going to take a look at the macro manager in Corel Draw XS. We're also going to take a look at moving our plugins from advancedtshirts.com out of X4 and into X6. And over the next few weeks, few weeks, we'll be releasing our updated installers for the plugins. But in the meantime, you can go ahead and access them very easily through the macro manager while you're enjoying the improved performance in Corel Draw X6. Take a look at the macro manager. All you need to go is Tools, come down here to Macros, and then go to Macro Manager or hit Alt Shift F11. Go ahead here, click on my macro manager. You can see I don't have all of my macros or plugins in here, and I definitely want to get these in here. Go ahead and go to my X4 GMS folder, and that'll be on Computer, C Drive, Program Files, x86, Corel, Graphics Suite, X4, Draw, GMS folder. Now here I've already got my AI clipboard, my Fashion Factory, and anything else selected? No. So I'll go ahead and right click on this and select Copy. Next thing I want to do is go to my X6, GMS folder, which is Computer, C, Users. Oh, this is the wrong folder. This is the one where I'm going to get my design base. Go back here and go to X6 right here. Computer, C, Program Files, X86, Corel, Corel Graphics Suite, X6, Draw, and GMS. Go ahead and right click here and select Paste. Continue. And now I've got my Fashion Factory and my AI Clipboard there. The next thing I want to do is go get my design base which would be in my users GMS folder. So I go to computer C drive users advanced artists or your username for your account on your computer app data roaming local Corel graphics suite x4 user draw GMS and here we've got design base and simple steps go ahead and right click on that select copy I want to go back here to my x6 right there and just go ahead and hit control V to paste and click on continue now, to get these loaded into my macro manager, all I'm going to need to do at this point in time is just go ahead and shut down X6. I don't want to save that. Go ahead and restart X6. Click on close here. I'll go to new blank document, select OK. I'll come down here to my design base. I'll go to main. You always want to go to main. Then just double click on that. And that'll bring up my design base. And I can go to my art packs or my marketing tools or what have you. And it'll be the same for your simple steps and your fashion factory. And once again, all the plugins work just fine in X6. Over the next few weeks, we'll be releasing updates and installers. So to be able to get these installed into X6 with your advanced tool menu once again. But we want to wait until we get everything put together and set up for those installation purposes in X6, which will take just a week or two. But between now and then, if you want to go ahead and work with your advanced t-shirts, plugins directly in X6, no problem with that. Just go ahead and load them through your macro manager. Let's take a look at some other things with the RAP macro manager here. I'm going to go ahead and load, and you can also go ahead and load macros from the manager. And I've got a cool macro on my desktop called the thumbnailer. I want to go ahead and load that. So I'm going to go here to desktop, and I'm going to take a look at my shortcuts I want to go here to desktop and here you can see thumbnailer GMS. Let me go ahead and open that. And now you can see I've got that thumbnailer GMS loaded into my macro manager. The only problem is that when you shut down and restart draw, you'll have to reload that again. It's not hardwired in like it is back here in the GMS folder. And this is ultimately where you want to have these because then it'll automatically load every time you shut down and restart draw. And you'll probably want to take a look at this, look at some of the different options here new macro project etc and if you create an object in this design you'll notice that things will start to be able to become available as far as usability is concerned and you can start to load with and you can also click here and go in simple mode which is as you can see there so there's some different settings in here so you can take a look at this macro manager but that's how we can work with the macro manager to set up and work with our plugins and macros and GMS files from previous versions of CorelDRAW and bring them all into X6 and have them easily accessible through the macro manager. Go ahead and wrap here and we'll continue in our next session.